we celebrate because it is the anniversary of when my sister Rachel, many of you guys have met her in the videos, she is two years older than me, she received a double lung transplant on February 26th of 2011. Don't forget to laugh every day. <laughs> Good, Good morning. morning. Um, I just finished 12 minutes on the elliptical and now my head hurts. So I'm gonna take some ibuprofen and... Getting your flowers ready for happy your spring, spring. I think we're gonna go out. Oh, we're going out. I think. Sounds good. We'll see if my head gets better. Cutting these flowers reminds me of one of my favorite memories before the wedding, um, it was the day that um, my sister planned a surprise bridal shower for me. And my mom was occupying me after church while everybody was going to my friend's house to surprise me. And my mom and I were using my silk roses for the wedding and we were clipping them all and making bouquets and stuff like that. So doing this reminds me of that fun day. Well, until I get the wreath made, I've got the flowers cut and ready and in this milk jug thing. <laughs> we are getting ready to go out. Yeah, so I was doing the get ready to go out dance. Yeah, yeah. You ready to go out? I take that as a yes. All right, let's do it. Pound it. <clears throat> you guys, the snow is like totally gone. What in the world? Oh wait, no, it's not totally gone. Hold on. We still have some snow. Right there. There's still some snow on the ground. Wow, it's warm out. This is crazy. <coughs> We've been loving this CD. I'm also loving this song. At Savers, yay! All right, guys. Mary went to the thrift store and found. I found a new pair of jeans. Yeah, they're, they're dark. really cute. They're dark jeans. Thanks. Good job. And we decided to come to Chick Fil A. And I looked up the uh, like I did last time when I found jeans there. These are worth $198 and I got them for $350. So Boom. Check saying. out that savings. <laughs> Anyways, we're about to get our Chick-fil-A right up there. We have a gift card and we are going to eat. This was funny. We were I was in the um I was in the thrift store and I Peter texted and said, How's it going? And I was like, good. And then I said, I might, I think I want Chick-fil-A and he, at the same time that I sent that, I got a text from him that said, I'm thinking about getting Chick-fil-A, so. Great minds think alike. Yeah. And we both knew we had a gift card, so it was kind of like on our minds yeah. anyway. <laughs> and I'm feeling a little exhausted, but my head is better. My voice is like really hoarse and weak right now, so I was just telling Peter like, ugh. Talking is stressing me out, so I'm gonna stop talking and eat. Mary got the grilled nuggets. Check that out. Oh, did they give me a fork? Oh, good. Um, last time I got the regular nuggets because I wanted some extra calories, but really all along I wanted the grilled nuggets. And the grilled nuggets are actually a little more expensive, so that was another reason, but this time I went all out and spent the extra 20 cents or whatever it is. Good job. So, all right, we're gonna eat now. Bye. We're in Target. Guys, check it out. They have this deal where you have a $5 gift card when you spend $20. So we're just going to stock up on our Sensodyne toothpaste. So we're just getting two of those. And then I think we need to spend like $1 more. This one is cheaper per pound, ounce, whatever. How is that possible? You would think that the value pack that comes with two things is cheaper, would but... Be a better value? It oh, turns wait, out... 18. So maybe... Whoa. We're not sure what's going on here, guys. We gotta, we gotta figure this out. All right, I think up, these are cheap. Update on the value pack versus... Look, it says twin value pack and the regular one and the regular one's cheaper get that and here's like a cf shopping tip slash everyone shopping tip most stores now have these wipes whenever you come in to wipe your 
cart and I accidentally pulled out five. So that's the tip to get as many as possible. I'm just kidding. But the, wipe down the cart because number one, it's greasy. Number two, it's dirty. We enjoyed you for the season and now it is time for you to go away. Let springtime come. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Ollie boy. Did you have a good day? Go Mary, go Mary. The breathing of the not happening much. Yeah. Uh, oxygen was just down low, but. Um, yeah, easier this. Well, harder to breathe, but easier because I don't have a headache. But, yeah. Than when? <coughs> Earlier. <coughs> Good job, hon. <coughs> So February 26th in our family is a day of celebration. And we celebrate because it is the anniversary of when my sister Rachel, many of you guys have met her in the videos, she is two years older than me. She received a double lung transplant on February 26th of 2011. So this is five years. And in the moment, well, it feels like yesterday, but then again, it feels like forever ago. It does feel like forever ago. But we've realized, I don't think we've ever told you guys the story of that day. Yeah, so we were just a couple months into marriage, living in Boston, and we were babysitting the boys of the family that we were... We rented the bottom half of the house. Yeah, so the boys upstairs <clears throat> were babysitting while the, their parents were out. And, uh... I was wearing my yellow, um, penguin onesie, you know, that zip-up one I have. And so it didn't have pockets. Now, when you're on the transplant list, you... <clears throat> I, I'm sure different centers do it different ways, but in the center Rachel was transplanted at, um, you keep your cell phone on you at all times. And if they can't reach that cell phone, they call the next cell phone in line, which in our case was like our her husband and then our parents and anyway so we all had our cell phones on at all times at all times with us on ringer on ready for the call whenever that was and I had my bag packed ready to fly at any moment and um I don't know why we thought I was only going well because I was oh, yeah. I was in school I was working like I had I, like I had full-time responsibilities that we just figured whenever Rachel got the call, Mary would fly back to Maryland and be with her family. And yeah, um, you and, would join, and I would join <clears throat> at some point. <throat> but I was, I had obligations I had to uh, attend to. Anyways, it was a Friday night, and Mary's wearing her pajamas, and she doesn't have a pocket for her phone. And I remember distinctly her saying grab my phone because we were going upstairs to put the boys to bed. So yep. I grabbed her phone and we took the boys up to bed and we were actually kneeling beside their bed praying with the boys before they went to bed when the phone, the call. phone rang and I, I had it in my pocket so I ran out and answered the phone. And I felt like I knew it immediately. And. And it was Rachel oh to tell us that she had gotten the call, and so I gave the phone to Mary. And That was like 9 p.m. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> I can't believe it was... Yeah. And then we called the parents immediately and said, come home, we are leaving. Obviously, we wouldn't have left the boys until the parents got home. But they came home, and actually the dad took us to the airport that night. But I had gone downstairs to... Yes, Peter went down immediately. I finished putting the boys to bed. Get on, I got online, and immediately I called Southwest Airlines, and I saw, um, I saw the flights online, and I wasn't sure if we were going to make a flight, and I called, and... And I got someone really helpful on the phone, and she was <clears> like, <throat> okay, well, let me see. I, I was like, is there any way you can, like, look across all the airlines and see if we can get, like, the latest flight out tonight to Baltimore? And she's, like, looking at it, and there, there was, like, a 930 flight, and there was no way we could make that flight. Yeah. But she goes, you know what? The 930 flight has been delayed for an hour. And we were like, great, put us on that flight. <coughs> and it turns out it, it got delayed another hour. The flight didn't leave till like one in the morning. 
So we got to the airport. Um, well, first off, it was the weekend, so Peter was able to come. And yeah. we were like, oh, yay, you can come. <clears throat> and so we got to the airport, got through security and everything, got to our gate, and there was like a um, flight attendant, or no, like an airline worker there. He was so sweet. I think my blood sugar had dropped or something, and I needed soda, and he went back into the, like, the staff area and got us a Coke. Yeah. And I just remember like certain things, like sitting in the airport, there were mice running around yeah. at, since it was it's one in the morning. funny how in like moments like those, when like big moments in your life, the details you remember. Like we distinctly remember those mice running around. I mean, that so was a little that weird. That was weird. <laughs> that was weird. And we were like, uh, and they were like, oh, it's normal. They're there, here There are night. friends. I was like, okay. So we got there and we had a friend a friend's brother pick us up at the airport Completely at three in the morning. Random, but and dropped us off at the at the ho uh, hospital. We got upstairs to where Rachel was and she was waiting. She was was it like pre op basically? She was in a single room waiting <clears throat> until six AM. So we saw her at like four in the morning. And then at six, they took her back for surgery. So we were, we got there in time to see her before she went back. And I'm going to start crying, but yeah, you can take it. The thing that I remember so vividly was just the calm, the peace that Rachel and Jonathan, her husband, had. They were so peaceful. And I was just like... This is God's perfect timing, and we just prayed and waited, and um, after they took her back, like, probably two hours into the surgery, um, we saw a cardboard box <clears throat> on a wheelchair come down the hall. <laughs> it said live organs on it. And, you know, at this time of year, every year, our family goes through both a celebration of Rachel's lungs, but also grieving for the family whose loved one is not here anymore. And I think it's important to to grieve and celebrate, it's kind of all wrapped in one. Yeah. But, um, it was a crazy special day, and yeah. um, like like we said, there's all those little details that we remember, and a lot we forget. And um, but we oh, really yeah. um, are thankful, and we celebrate um, the lungs that Rachel has, and and Jonathan wrote. I believe he wrote like an in-depth blog post at the time. And also you guys, if you are interested in reading it, my sister was blogging before the transplant and I think they have some blog posts from after the transplant. We'll have these linked down here if you want to read it. She posted a blog the, um, the day of the transplant, but before she got the call. So it would have been the day before the transplant. The, like, hours before she received the call. And if you are somebody who are, who's waiting for a transplant, you would probably um, resonate with a lot of the things that she was saying in there. And I just remember it's a powerful blog post. Yeah, especially when you look back at the timing of it. Yeah. And the, the journey that she had been on. Yeah. So... Um, we'll have links down in the description and we thank you guys for celebrating with us yeah, and um, Absolutely, and so one thing you could do if you aren't an organ donor and w Would consider becoming one we would urge you to and we'll le leave a link down below for how to do that in the US um, and I'm sure you can look up in your country how yeah. You can register to be an organ donor. And thank you. It saves lives. Yeah. So. And I see all the time questions of, 
are you going to receive a transplant like Rachel did? And we actually talked about that in our CF Q&A. There will be a link down below to answer that question There's for you. There's a lot of links today. A lot so of links. you guys got some homework. And <laughs> as always. As always. We, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. Looked up in the mirror and I had a book. <laughs> <laughs>